Hello mamas, welcome to the Mama Makeup Corner, which is literally in my bedroom corner. I flip-flopped the camera and I think the situation is a little bit better. Um, today I just want to dive right into project panning. I have a lot, a lot of makeup, more than anybody who's not an influencer should have, and I want to get through it. And all these are products that I like or love. Some of them are ride or die, not all, but I just kind of want to get through them and I think having a starting point, I can't remember her name, but there is a different YouTuber who she gets like the weight, the grams, the length of the product, and then she keeps track at the end of the month. So I'm going to copy that. I'll put her in the description box because I want to tag her, but I'm going to start. I've already started in January, beginning of January. These are the products I want to use up or at least hit pan on or get, you know, halfway through at least. And then at the end of the month, I'll just update you on where it's at. So let's get through this. I have my list here. My food scale went out and I could not find batteries for it anywhere. So I ordered some on Amazon. So the products that need to be weighed are on this side and I don't have weights for any of them. No, I, I can do measurements. So I've taken measurements on some of these, but we're just gonna go through the products and at the end of the month, I'll let you know, did I get what I wanted done accomplished? Next month, I will have a battery in my scale and I can give you the weights because that seems to be the best way to keep track of how much you've actually used. So first off, I've got some setting sprays. I have sample sizes in a lot of products and this is one of them. This is the Benefit The Pore Professional Super Setter Long Lasting Makeup Spray. Then I have the Becca Skin Love Glow Shield Prime and Set Mist. You can't get this anymore. Becca, I don't even think is a company anymore, but I really like this and I'm just gonna get through it because I love it. Okay, next. Cover FX High Performance Setting Spray 24 Hour Wear. This, I'm not sure how much I'll get through because when I spray it on my face, I, it like clings to powder. So I'll actually get little white patches of like where the powder is clinging and it looks weird. I use this when I have a makeup brush, not that makeup brush, like this, and I spray it. That's, that's what I use this for. It's really great for eyeshadow. So we'll see how much of that I actually get through. Next up we have this is the Complex Culture and She Glam setting powders. This one is transparent with like a little bit of a sheen, like a little glow, and I like it under my eye. Then the Complex Culture says translucent. It's not. It's not. It turned my skin orange. So I use a very light dusting of this over my skin and just pray that it doesn't go orange. Primers, primers, primers. This, I don't know if you can get anymore. It's the Marc Jacobs Undercover. It's like a priming, blurring, blurring primer. That's what it is. And I really like it for my nose and for my pores right here on my cheeks. I think it does a pretty decent job, but it's old. And so I was like, I might as well get through it before it expires. Next, Urban Decay All Nighter Ultra Glow Face Primer Dewy Foundation Grip. This reminds me of like the Milk Makeup Gripping Primer or the e.l.f. Power Grip Primer. Those ones, I... This one just isn't sticky. The other ones are sticky, this isn't, so. Next we have foundation. I have the Clinique Even Better Free Fresh. I like this foundation a lot. Uh, it doesn't last long and it makes no claims to last long. So if I wear it for a couple hours, it's great. If I wear it all day like I am today, it's already kind of coming off. So, but when it first applies in the first couple hours, I just feel like I have the best look. But I can't wear this to work. I work 12 hour shifts. I can't take this to work because it'll just come right off. Amazonian Clay 16 hour full cover foundation. This is a sample size, I'm pretty sure. Um, I've used it four times now and we're gonna get through it. Next up, I have the Flower Gel Crush um, Lip and Cheek. I don't speak French. <laughs> it's Lip and Cheek uh, like blush, okay? So I use this on my cheeks and it looks so pretty. This is not something that I wipe on my face though. I put it on with a brush, so we'll see how much I actually get through it. But I've actually really enjoyed the color on this. It's in the shade Strawberry Crush. So we're gonna get through it this month. Next, and I'm not gonna throw this one because I really like this one. This is the Profusion Jurassic World Liquid Blush. I'm gonna buy two more of these before it I might already be sold out because it was a Jurassic World collection. But I love this blush and it just blends perfectly and I love it. So I'm just gonna use it, use it, use it and then I'm gonna buy some more. And I'm not throwing it because it'll break. Next up we have the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer. It 
everyone loves this everyone knows about it but i've got a lot of other bronzers and i don't want, just want to toss this so i'm gonna use it until it hits pan at least and i'm not gonna throw things like this that are in a pan because they'll break physician's formula blush this is the butter blush vintage rouge Merrow, <laughs> I'm not even gonna try this butter blush right here. I like it, it's a very subtle color. It's what I'm wearing today. I feel like the lighting makes it look a tad bit more orange than it is, but it's just like this very tan, rosy color or pale, very pale, rosy color. And I like that. I'm not gonna throw it. Oh, highlighter. This is my favorite highlighter. I have a lot of highlighters to go through and I don't think you can get this anymore. So I just figured I'm gonna use it up. As far as contour goes, I have Fenty Beauty, the matchsticks. I'm already almost out. I've had this for a good while and that's all I have left. So we're gonna get through it. We're gonna finish it this month. Then I have KKW Beauty. I don't think this is a thing anymore. I don't know. No, I'm gonna get through this. I'm gonna get through it this month so that it's just out of my collection. I like the colors, don't get me wrong. I like those colors, but I have other things I wanna try and use up and I feel guilty not using these. So I wanna love on them and use them up until they're gone. For eyeballs, not your eyeballs, your eyelids. I have the Inglot eyeshadow primer. And this is funny, this is really funny, I'm gonna tell you. My husband was Scarecrow at um, a theater, a community theater company that we've been part of and he had to have Scarecrow makeup. And this is really fast change and I was like what can I use at least to keep color down really good and this was on the website that I bought his makeup with so I thought oh I'll try that and we used it all over his face and he has to do a quick change at the end so he has to rip all of his costume off hurry change it back into his farmhand costume and then rub his face like really hard and we didn't know how good this was so it like stuck it would not come off. So he went back on stage with like green and yellow all over his face and patches because we couldn't get it off. So we learned our lesson and we never did it again, but goes to show this is a great eyeshadow primer. It's what I use every day. I have some other ones, but this is an older one. So I need to get through it before it expires. Also for eyes, I've already hit pan on one of these. This is ColourPop Su Super, <laughs> ColourPop Super Shock Shadow in this shade Ritz. I love this, just like, focus something I don't know it's really sparkly but really neutral and it's it's good for a nude day not a nude day but like nude makeup don't go streaking okay the next one is ColourPop um Waddles also in Super Shock Shadow this is one that I've hardly touched but I really love the color and I used it once and decided I should focus on this so I'm going to Next up, I have two mascaras here. This is the Man Eater from Tarte. I do plan on repurchasing this once this is gone because it's my favorite mascara. It's tied for favorite, actually. I really like the Red Aspen Maggie, Pump It Up Maggie mascara, but this one is like right there and I love it. So it's old though, so I need to get through it before it starts getting dry and crusty and expires. And then we have the Wet n Wild Big Papa. This was a buy that like, I don't think it went viral. I don't know. I, it was like, oh, I just want some new mascaras and I bought like six new mascaras and decided this would be the one, I guess. And I don't actually know what I think of it. So we're gonna try it. We're almost done. We're getting there. For eyes, next, I also have the Kiko Milano Wonder Woman Metal Eyeshadow. You can't get this anymore. It was a Wonder Woman collab. And once it runs out, I'm keeping the packaging because I'm sentimental. Wonder Woman is um, my favorite um, woman superhero. And it's so pretty. Just look at this. It's so pretty. Next up for eyes, we have the Pacifica. Pacifica. It's, it's an eyeliner. It's in the color Fringe. I think I've actually used this as an eyebrow pencil too. Either way, I use this as an eyeliner and I also use it in my brows. I bet you could use it as a lip liner if you wanted. I'm not going to, but I'm going to use it up. Next up, I have the L'Oreal Paris Infallible Longwear Eye Pencil. That's my baby. She's on the baby monitor. She's she's learning to like not speak, but just that she can be make noises and be loud. So it's really funny to listen to her on the, the baby monitor. Okay, next is the L'Oreal Paris Infallible Longwear Eye Pencil. It's like a grayish brown, gray, yeah. 
I have a hard time with eye pencils, but I purchased it and I want to get through it. This is so far the only eye pencil that really does kind of stay put for the most part. I wore it today and it's already kind of coming down, but I've had it on for six hours, so it's doing pretty good. If any of you know of a good eye pencil for waterline and it won't come off, hit me up. Please tell me your secrets because this is as close as I can get and it only lasts like six hours and I need 12 hour stay. Man Eater Tarte Liquid Liner and the Man Eater from Tarte em Emphasize Gel Liner. Uh, I use this on top of my lid, not in my waterline, and I use this on top of my lid, not in my waterline. And I just really liked the Man Eater collection, so I bought all these together and I want to get through them before they expire. Yay! As far as concealer goes, I really like the Flower Beauty Light Illusion Concealer. I don't know if you can get it or not. You can go to Walmart or Ulta. And then I also have a sample size of the NARS, I think it's Creamy Concealer? I don't know. Either way. Either way. This is what I'm going to use this month. I have lots of other concealers that are new, but I want to get through these two first because they're my oldest. We're getting there. So I have two brow pencils I want to use up. Um, last month I finished up my Anastasia Brow Wiz and benefit cosmetics and I just go through brow pencils so quickly so I did pick two here that are full size I have the skinny brow pencil from she glam revolution pro Bra warm brow brown <laughs> okay next up we have the revolution pro warm brown brow pencil fantastic this thing is heavy this sucker is heavy like if I sharpened this really good I could take you out I'm just gonna use it up. Okay, right, we have the CoverGirl Clean Fresh Brow Gel. It's clear, and I really love the wand on this. One side is really short, one side is longer, and I don't know why, but that just gives me the best sweep through my brows, and I've really been loving it. So I'm gonna buy another one, and I'm gonna use this up first. NYX, Thickest Ticket Brow Gel. This is not a joke. I thought people were just like, oh, it's NYX. We love NYX. So let's, let's, you know, make this product go viral. No, no, no. This product is really good. This actually works and I love this. Uh, it just, it, it does give crunchy brows. So don't touch your brow after you put it on. But like, once you apply it, your brows ain't going nowhere. They're not gonna go for a hike. They're not going swimming. They're not going nowhere. They're gonna stay put. Last category I have is for lips and I have the ColourPop Lippy Stick. I bought this like a year ago. I'm not even sure I'm supposed to have it still. Okay, so I don't wanna get rid of it if it's still good and it looks fine smells fine oh yeah it actually smells kind of good i'm gonna use this up because i bought it and just want to get through it to make sure i didn't waste my money and i do like it it's a nice balm i don't know where that one went glam light frosted flakes lip liner i think you can still get this i think it was actually i think it might be on sale it was on their black friday sale and they might still be on sale but it's just a really good color it's a very good nude for me i wear it not often enough so I'm going to use this up, or at least a lot of it up this month, okay? Actually, I should do that now because I realized I didn't put lip product back on. So maybe I should do that real quick. Hold, please. Okay, I have the lip pencil on from Glam Light, Frosted Flakes Collection. Now I look a little bit less like a psycho. I am I'm pairing that lip pencil this month with this NYX Butter Gloss uh, Praline. I like the Butter Gloss. It's super... I don't know, it's thick, but it goes on so smoothly. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Next, I have the NYX Butter Gloss in Candy Clap? Candy Clap back for this one. I don't wear red a lot. I wore red this morning when I was filming and it was a lot of fun. And I took my son to school at like 7 a.m. or 8 a.m. And I was like... This is a lot to drop a preschooler off, but I like red lipstick. So uh, for a gloss, at least I'll keep this for the month and we'll see if we can get through it. When I do my makeup, I scrub my lips with the e.l.f. lip scrubber and then I clean that off and I put on a lip balm and a lip oil. And that's while I'm like doing my eye makeup and my face makeup. And then I clean that off and put on lip gloss or whatever. This is the lip oil I reach for. It's from Winky Lux. Winky Lux, that's all it says, but I'm about halfway through it. I use it every morning. I really like this oil, so I, I have a lot of lip oils though, and I might just repurchase this because it does have a little bit of a gold 
glitter in it, gold little specks, not quite chunky glitter, but it's just really nice and I really like it. So I'm gonna use it up. And last product, last product is the Rising Star MUA Galaxy Gloss. And this is part of that um, Yellow Brick Road, follow the Yellow Brick Road. It's the Wizard of Oz collection from Rising Star MUA. And they have a highlighter palette and an eyeshadow palette and some glosses. I got the shade Good Witch and I love this gloss. It's so thin and I've barely used it. I've used it like three times. I bought it maybe six months ago. So maybe it's, I got 12 months. So if I can use it up this month, that'd be great. I'm gonna throw this in my purse and take it to work with me. And I put gloss and oil on like a mad woman. So I know I can use this up and then I might just repurchase more because it was such a good, It's it is such a good formula. We did it. We're at the end of that project pan stuff. The last day of the month or the last week of the month, I will let you guys know where I'm at and we're gonna get new products in February. Maybe not new new, but like new that you haven't seen me use before, kind of new. Maybe I won't be such a weirdo then. Make sure to subscribe to my channel and you can follow me on TikTok, Instagram, although Instagram is weird. So Instagram's like, I don't care. But TikTok here on YouTube. I do have a Facebook VIP group for like my nails and stuff, which is a lot of fun. We just talk about nails. So if you wanna go talk about nails, go there, it's a Facebook. I hope you all have a great day and I hope you had fun in the mama makeup corner. I know it's in my bedroom corner, but it is what it is. And I think we're gonna have a lot more fun this year than we did last year. Bye mamas.